Chats. Today I have a, a really special guest. This is actually a friend of mine, Lance Roger Axed. Hey, Lance. Hello. Good to hear from you. Yeah, I'm super excited. We've been so busy we haven't been able to connect, so I thought this was I a know. great opportunity. You've got a great, great product that I want you to talk about, but let's start off by, I want you to tell people about yourself, maybe give a little background of what you do. Well, what I do is what used to be called radio drama. It's now, there's a variety of names attached to it. 20th century, 21st century, I should say, radio drama, um, audio drama, fiction podcast is the one that uh, is the most popular. But we have been producing audio drama since uh, 2010 with our first production of Starstruck and our company Pocket Universe Productions and its audio comics division does full cast audio dramas based on a variety of different subjects. We go off of independent comic books. We have done uh, short stories. We have done the occasional novelization. We have done the occasional commission. We have done two very high-profile projects that a lot of people probably are aware of, uh, one of which is The X-Files, which we did for Audible Studios. Uh, two pieces right there, Cold Cases and Stolen Lives, where we reunited the cast, including David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. Uh, Bill Davis, uh, Mitch Pileggi, and The Lone Gunman. And then we also did, before that, uh, Lock and Key, before the television series happened. And we did that with a cast of 60 actors, all on location, uh, with the exceptions of our celebrity names, uh, those being Tatiana Maslany of Orphan Black, Haley Joel Osment, Kate Mulgrew, and a special appearance by uh, Joe Hill's father, the king of horror, Stephen King. And right now, we have just put out our newest production. It came out first as an audiobook in October of last year. And now it is available for those of you who don't do audiobooks but do do podcasts. We have it available as a podcast. And that is, that's what we're here to talk about, EC Comics Presents The Vault of Horror. See, I can't do it the way that Kevin Grievous does it. No, but no. That's, 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 that's <laughs> but about, you did pretty well. I, I, I can't. I cannot get to that level. No, we'll talk about Kevin in a second. But that's our newest production. We have uh, put out the first season of EC Comics presents The Vault of Horror, and this is the sister title to Tales from the Crypt, and it adapts the first twenty-four stories from the first six issues of the original comic book series, and it is twelve episodes total, two stories per episode, and. Similar to per our previous productions of X-Files and Lock and Key, we have a massive cast involved in this. We'll talk about some of the cast members in a minute. But there are 60 actors involved in this, recorded in Maine, recorded in Los Angeles. And uh, we have a fantastic sound score. We have incredible soundscapes. This was recorded utilizing a 3D binaural microphone, so it allows for the audience members to become completely immersed in the material, especially if you have... Uh, Noise canceling headphones on, and the first four episodes are out right now. Episode five comes out on Friday. So exciting! I absolutely love this property. Uh, I love these podcasts. So that's why I was I, I was thinking about this show, and I thought, you know, you really need to come on. You really need to make people aware of this. I mean, people listening to this are comics fans, whether they're mm -hmm. creators or just the casual fan. We've all read EC Comics. Come on. Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Know? We all remember Tales from the Crypt. It's the same energy. It is the same spirit. Uh, the only difference here is the voice of our host is completely different from that of the Crypt Keeper because we wanted to separate ourselves from John Kassir as much as possible. And the voice that we got through our dear friend uh, David Uslan, whose father, Michael Uslan, produced this little thing called Batman. I don't know if anybody remembers it. Um, David is such a cool guy, and when we told him that we were doing this, he said, I have the perfect voice for you. I have the perfect voice, and he put us in touch with his friend, Kevin Grievous, and Kevin Grievous is a voiceover actor in Hollywood. He is uh, the publisher of his own uh, comic book line called Dorkstorm Studios. He is also creator of the Underworld movie franchise, so we got the creator of Underworld to play the Vault Keeper. 
And uh, in addition to the, uh, Kevin, we have a total of 60 actors. I'm in a couple of pieces. Uh, Bill DeFries, our late director, uh, is in 18 of them. Uh, we also have, uh, who else do we have in this? We have Phil Proctor, who is the original co-founder of the Fire Sign Theater, the Beatles of comedy. So we are working right now with one of the co-founders, one of the most legendary comedy troops of all time. We have Denise Poirier, who is the voice of MTV's Eon Flux. We have Peter Burkrot, who is an audiobook legend, not to mention uh, a former actor from the uh, movie called Caddyshack, a little movie called Caddyshack. Never heard of it. Never heard of it, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've, heard, I've heard good things. And uh, Jonathan Woodward, who was on Angel, Firefly, who was in Wit with Emma Thompson, and who's now a partner with our company. So they are the linchpins in a 60 60- ensemble 60 actor ensemble and these guys just do an incredible job and you can hear it when you hear the show how much fun we were having telling these stories now these are these are the original stories from ec that's not content that you've created under that banner correct no 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 we we went to the original stories but one of the great things about working with ec was that ec gave us carte blanche to update the stories update the dialogue if we found a new and interesting angle to go with it uh, because the stories are so stuck in the 1950s, even by their own admission, they wanted to update the stories as well. If you want to keep it in the 1930s where the original story is, that's fine. Just maybe update the language a little bit. And that's what we did. It, they were so wonderful to work with and just so open to ideas. Uh, one of the stories, for example, which is um, Rats Have Sharp Teeth, that's a one-person show, literally. And for some bizarre reason, I had in my head Dr. Seuss. So I turned, I turned this story into a bedtime story with the original dialogue for the most part there for, for Phil, although I, I expanded it quite a bit. But in terms of the Vault Keeper's uh, narration, I turned it into rhyming couplets. So we have this twisted little bedtime story for kids to listen to about a, a grave robber going after all the wealth that the citizens of this one town decided to take to the grave with them. And have the enemies that he makes with the rats in the graveyard and under the, and underneath in the catacombs underneath. So it's, it was just so much fun. And they came back to us and said, this is a great idea. God, keep going. So we did. It's me doing half of the adaptations and the other half adapted by Butch D'Ambrosio, who used to write for Mad Magazine. So it's another easy connection right there. Yeah, fantastic. And, uh, yep. you know, you, you mentioned something in there that I think is important for people listening to know, too. I actually got involved with you. I was telling you that I, I think EC actually targets that like preteen kind of teen market really well oh, because yeah. of the type of storytelling and what you just described absolutely would work. My daughter is 13 now, but when we first were listening to, I, I think there were some samples that you used uh, back when you were trying to pitch this idea. Right. She fell in love with it. She said, well, I want more. I want more of mm-hmm. this. It's so good. And it really is. It really is an audio version of a comic book as opposed to, we're going to take this, we're going to convert it. So it almost sounds like a movie, but you're listening to it. it this is what the experience is supposed to be. So I'm, I'm a big fan. Big fan. Thank you. Thank you. We're really, really proud of this. And I do need to bring this up. Um, this was the last project or one of the last projects that our director and my friend of 15 years and co-founder of Puck Universe did. Bill Dufries, he was a horror fanatic. He loved these comic books. And Bill unfortunately passed away three weeks ago uh, from esophageal cancer. And this was his bucket list project. And yes, he did Lock and Key. Yes, he did the X-Files. But honestly, I think this is the best project, if not one of the best projects that he ever did. And that's saying a I, lot. Sus- I mean, you guys yeah, have won I, awards. Yeah, I suspect I, I suspect that he would be happy to say, if I'm going to be remembered for something, this is it. Yeah, you know, because he put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into making this as perfect as possible, and it really is. It, it really, really is. Really, truly is. Uh, yeah. I have a couple of questions regarding uh, this project in particular, but maybe forward projects. I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you have? a Patreon or do you have any crowdfunding going on that, that helps support projects like this? Not really, but we're looking into a Patreon right now. Uh, there's a, for, interestingly enough, there's a variety of different alternatives now to Patreon that's happening within the uh, uh, podcasting industry. Podbean, for example, has put something together, which is our, our hosting site. So we may be looking at them in the future. 
but uh, but definitely a Patreon like site is in the works as more and more people listen to us, and I hope enjoy what they're hearing. Sure, very much so. Yeah, I mean there there are different ways to go about it. You could even do a membership type site, and that might exactly, uh, especially for <laughs> the EC fans. I know there are a lot of EC addicts out there yeah. that, that if they heard product like this would probably yeah. shell it out, want to get involved. And uh, we actually do have one, which I will bring up. We are on Glow FM, and Glow is by membership, $5 a month. But uh, we are putting out an episode every week through June 5th. If you join for Glow on Glow FM and join to be our uh, – our, uh, support us on Glow, our patron, uh, you will get each episode a day early, and you get the episodes without ads. So there you go. So That's Glow excellent. FM. Yeah, Glow That's FM. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Now, you mentioned that you do commissions or you have done commissions. Is this something yes. that, that people, if they were looking to, to get something done, they could contact your company? Very much so, yeah. But uh, commissions, very in terms of commissions, just note that we're not a cheap date. So, you know, <laughs> the, you know we're, we, we do believe in paying our actors. We believe in paying our, our sound designers. We believe in paying ourselves. So, you know, you if you want really great quality material, you will get that from our company. Just listen to our works. So Lance, I asked this question of everybody and I've had some great answers. I'm expecting a great one from you. Okay. This is your dream convention. Who would you be (laughs) most excited to meet? We know Bill, it would be Stephen King. We've already talked about that, but for you, who would it be? That's a great question. Can he be living or dead? It's a dream convention. Okay. I would love to spend an hour with Rod Serling. Yeah, I would love to. That's a good one. I, I would love to spend an hour talking with Rod Serling. That would be, especially with everything we're going through now. I would love to get his take on it. Yeah, yeah, that would be a really great. There we one. go. <laughs> good job. I, I knew you'd come yeah. through for me. On so with with so many cons that are canceling or postponing right now, what do you think is the best way for fans to support creators? I think the best way to support creators go to their websites. See what they have to offer. If you've got the money, buy something. If they've got a Patreon, support them. You know, this is the time where we have to band together. We are going to get through this, and it's going to take a while. But if you've got the money, if you've got the time, if you've got the ability, support them. And if you can't support them financially, support them on social media. And tell your friends, I've just discovered this. Here's the website. Go check it out. You know, that's been happening for us very slowly but very surely with Vault of Horror. This is a great podcast. Go check it out. You know, the power of social media right now is vital. And I think it's something that can get us through. Now, you mentioned that they can find your podcast on Glow, but is it right. across all platforms? It is. It's on all the usual suspects. You can find it on Apple Podcasts. You can find it on Stitcher. You can find it on Spotify. You can find it on iHeartRadio. It just get, went on iHeart yesterday. Uh, you can find it on Google Podcasts. Just look under EC Comics Presents, and then it will come up. EC Comics Presents The Vault of Horror. Uh, we would love to see 50,000 people jump on board. We would love to see 100,000 people jump on board and listen to something that is going to help take you away from everything that's going on in the world right now. And you can hear stories about bad things happening to bad people the way it's supposed to be, rather than bad things happening to good people. So go to Apple Podcasts, go to Google Podcasts, go to iHeartRadio, Spotify, or Stitcher, or you can support us at $5 a month through Glow FM and get the episodes a day early without ads. And just look under EC Comics Presents The Vault of Horror. And what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Best way to get in touch with us is to go to our website at www.pocketuniverseproductions.com. And that's all one word. And you can go to the contact page and contact us. We will usually respond within about 24 to 48 hours. Wonderful. And is there any other social media you want to highlight? Yes, we're Pocket Plot on Instagram, we are Pocket Plot on Twitter, and we are Pocket Plot on Facebook. Excellent. Excellent. Please come follow us there. Yes. Thank you so much. This was great. I encourage everybody to check out EC Vault of Horror. It's fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. Obviously, I like podcasts, uh, but this one truly (laughs) deserves your time. So thanks again, Lance. And please, everybody support them. 
Go check out their stuff. Share their stuff. Play it for the kids at bedtime. Sure, why not? Why not? Thanks again, Lance. You bet. You can find Alley Chats on Facebook by searching for at Alley Chats. You can also visit us at our webpage, smgpods.com slash Alley Chats for links to all our episodes and other cool stuff. One easy way to support our show is to rate and review Alley Chats wherever you listen to your podcasts. Those ratings really help us out and help others find our show as well. Alley Chats is produced and edited by Rob Southgate for Southgate Media Group. Be sure to subscribe to Alley Chats because you definitely don't want to miss an episode. Thanks again to our affiliate sponsors, Hunt a Killer and Tweaked Audio. Links to them are on our webpage and in the show notes. This wouldn't be possible without them. Our theme song is by Benny and the No Goods. Check out their awesome music at bennyandthenogoods.bandcamp.com. If you're an artist or writer or creative type that would have a table at an artist alley and would like to be on Alley Chats, message us through the Facebook page or email us directly at southgatemediagroup at gmail.com and we'll set up an interview. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with another fantastic show.